Yo guys, Blue Knots here, and welcome back to another video. And today, it is officially begin. Today is my official vacation vlog, and I will be going alone for the first time ever. And quite frankly, I'm pretty excited about going on this vacation, but at the same time, I'm actually right now very, very nervous. And the reason why I'm very nervous is not because this is my first time going on a vacation alone, it's because the train that I'm supposed to take to Portland is really, really late. Like, I last checked it on the Amtrak website, and it looks like it's gonna be two hours uh, late by the time it gets to the train station. So, basically, the train will arrive right around 10 o'clock which is not good because I'm worried that when we get to Portland um, I need to get there before no later than 7 o'clock if I have any chance of course to attend this match and also attend the full match so hopefully we can get there on time um, there is a very high chance that we might have to rush and we have to run to the hotel and then runs to Providence Park once we get there but yeah fingers crossed we can get there um, a little bit early for now I am gonna go take my local train which is of course Caltrain down to San Jose and yeah right guys we have just arrived at the station um, by the way behind me there that of course is the platform where we're gonna be boarding the train um, right now it's about 735 uh, last time I checked on the train status, it is going to be here at 9.45. So it's about an hour and a half late, which means that it did made up time uh, when I first checked it. Um, actually, when I left my home, I checked the train status and it was two hours behind. So it's good that they did made up a couple of minutes, but it's going to be interesting to see what time does this train actually arrive well we got some bad news guys um apparently the train that i'm taking uh has just struck a tractor yes you heard it right the train that i was about to take in just struck a tractor about 60 miles away from where i live and they need to get a new engine which means that that means it's going to take longer now to get on the train and most likely uh, when I get to Portland, I will not be doing my match vlog, which, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously disappointed, but there's nothing I can do, obviously, it's, it's just completely bad luck, and I'm sorry about this kind of incident, I mean, this is just completely out of my, my uh, control, and yeah. Well, it is now 1.20, and the gates has finally opened which means that the train is about to arrive and they said it was going to be arrive at around 1.30 ish but it's good to see the gates finally open and we're finally on the platform a part where we're supposed to be on at five hours ago but oh well it is what it is well after almost five hours here comes the train get on this bad boy well guys we have finally made it to of course the roomette um, I'm just gonna give a very quick tour of this uh, because I am a little bit tired and I kind of want to go to sleep right after I finish this recording but yeah basically um, obviously I think this is the oh actually I could have just put maybe my backpack in here which I'm not sure if it will fit obviously you got the 
the, this is the, the thing. Oh, I can't even think right now. I'm just so tired right now that I can't even think of any words to describe what this is. But yeah, um, obviously you got the window here. This is the instruction to how to open the tray table. By the way, um, currently right now this is laid out as a bed. Um, there's a the trash can over there, and there's my my shoes because you know. I don't want to get my shoes on to the bed and yeah that's pretty much it there's some uh, towers right there I think that's for if you're gonna go to take a shower which I'm not going to because I already did um, and oh yeah and also these are these are the uh, there's only like one outlet which is a little bit disappointing I thought there would be more than one additional uh, light and other than that that is pretty much it um, yeah, I'm actually just gonna go straight to bed now because I'm just so tired. It's like, it's almost 2 in the morning right now, which I cannot believe I'm actually saying this. But, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now, and in fact, I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep now, and I'm gonna turn off the light, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right guys, um, it's like 5 a.m. right now. Um, I actually didn't actually get any sleep at all. I mean, I was just kind of like lying on the bed, just head up and stuff like that. Just couldn't get any sleep. But uh, as you can see, I'm not sure you guys can see. Well, I don't think you can see. Um, but the sun has started to rise, which means that this is probably the best opportunity for me to get some uh, sunrise shot of this journey. So, yeah. I'm actually going to go to the observation deck right now. I know it's early. It's 5 in the morning. I'm pretty sure nobody is there. But I'm just going to be there for a while. Watch the sun rise as it goes. And yeah.
I can see A shadow of my own reflection You and I will always be Forever endlessly Floating beside you finally made it to Oregon, but we are about six hours behind. As you can see, we have made it to Klamath Falls. Uh, we were able to walk on the platform for a bit, but not for very long. By the way, there's the front of the train right there. Right, we are back on the train, which means it's time to continue with a couple more series of clips of this journey.
Well guys, we have finally made it to Portland here. Um, almost about six hour late here at Portland. It's about 9.45. Um, by the way, I'm actually watching the Portland Timbers vs. Quakes game. The game that I was supposed to attend, but unfortunately I just couldn't get here on time. But yeah, I'm probably just going to finish watching this game, just sitting here, finish watching it, and then I'll be, be taking an Uber to my hotel. And once I get to a hotel, I'll show you around uh, my room, uh, and then after that, I'll, I'll actually, after that, I'll tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. 